welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry I haven't posted in a while. I honestly am so, so upset because the camera that I have is not compatible with my computer. Bummer. And I hate recording with my computer, but this is what I have for right now. So let's just do it. I didn't want to film a tutorial because I feel like the quality wouldn't be as good. So I went ahead and just grabbed the products that I love the most. They are not necessarily new products, but they're definitely products that I cannot live without. And it's a range of everything. So get ready because it's about to get real. I'm gonna start with brushes. So my favorite, favorite, favorite brush for foundation is the F80 by Sigma. This one is really dirty, but I already have a new one just in case this one, you know, decides to do whatever. Um, yeah, I had it for over a year, so I think it's about time, you know what I'm saying? Next is my overall powder brush by Real Techniques, and it's just a big brush. And what I use this for is once I'm done with, like, my makeup, I just use my, and that's my lip just scratching the hell out of himself. Whenever you want, Milo. Anyway, so I use this to put my finishing powder and kind of blend everything in. So yeah, I cannot live without this one. Last but not least, this is a new brush that I just received. It's the MB30 by Morphe. And I use this for my contour. It definitely carves out your cheekbones and like everything around your face. So yeah, this is definitely life. Why, why does he do this to me? Milo, can you behave? Can you behave? He won't. So next I'm going to talk about lipsticks. And the two lipsticks that I'm going to talk about are pretty basic. And they are by MAC. One is Modesty, which is a pretty nude. I'll show you guys. It's like a mauve pink. And the next one is everyone's favorite, Myth. And Myth, I cannot wear uh, like by itself because it's really white on my skin. So what I do is I use Modesty all over my lips and then I use Myth right in the middle of my lips. And it's what I have on right now. I feel like... It's pretty nice. I like it. And it's what I use most of the time whenever I want to do a nude lip. Um, but before I do a nude lip, I like to condition my lips. And I do that with this little baby. It's Vaseline Creme Brulee. I use this every single night and I love it. And I mean the packaging is just like so little. Uh, moving on to concealers. I have been loving, loving the Naked Skin Concealer, and I use mine in medium light neutral. I love this. It's what I have on right now, too. Since I bought it, I don't think I have used anything else. I like my MAC, um, what is it called? My Pro Long Wear Concealer as well, but I don't know. I really do like this one better. Um, and another one, well, I use this as a concealer, but it is a eyeshadow base in color Skin, I believe. Yeah, Skin Tone. And I cannot live without this. This I use to clean up my eyebrows, to kind of conceal any redness, and then go over with my foundation or whatever. But this is really a lifesaver. Even when you do a dark lip, you just use that with like a small brush and just clean around it and it's like bomb. So yeah, and it's super affordable. It's probably like $5. It's NYX. NYX, I mean, I don't give this product enough credit. But all I'm going to say is eyebrows on fleek. <laughs> on fleek. And it's by Anastasia, the dip brow pomade. And I use it in color chocolate. I have purchased this three times already and I will probably keep on purchasing because this is the best. The best eyebrow product. I don't care if they look too drawn in. I don't care because they just look 
amazing. And I get so many compliments about my eyebrows. And I always say it's just Anastasia. You know? Next, I'm going to go into blushes. This one is by Givenchy. Yeah, Givenchy. I was going to say Giorgio Armani. This is Givenchy, yes. And it is this pretty color here. It's very peachy. So it has like pink, light peach, a really, like, it's very nude. But it just gives you like the perfect highlight. And it's what I'm wearing today. I love this. It's definitely on the pricey side, but it's amazing. And it's on the shade 23 Aficionado Peach. Next is my Urban Decay Blush. Color Kinky. Love this color. It's perfect for the summer. Super, super pretty. Very nude. Because I feel like all my blushes are pinks and I just love peachy colors for the summer so that's my second favorite yeah that is my second favorite next I'm gonna go into highlight because highlight needs to be on point and always on fleek you know what I'm saying if you can see that well the one that I love is by Becca and it is in the color opal I love this because it's kind of like a rose gold color and it's just the perfect, perfect highlight for me. I am considering purchasing the new Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop highlight, but I feel like it's more for fair skin. So I don't think it's going to do me as good as Opal does. So we'll see. I'll swatch it and then figure it out if I want it or not. Next, I'm going to talk about foundation. <laughs> and my two favorites are this two, my Smashbox and my Estee Lauder. So the Smashbox is the one that I use whenever I want to look a little dewy. Not necessarily greasy, but just a little dewy, you know. Um, and I love this because it's pretty lightweight and it just lasts forever it claims to last 15 hours and I do wear my foundation for that long so yes it does last 15 hours and it's hydrating so it doesn't feel dry on your skin and it looks like skin it doesn't look caked up that's why I love it and my favorite favorite which I don't use all the time because the bottle is so small and I mean this is like $50 so I just use this on special occasions, you know. And it is a double wear foundation in the color 4N1 Shell Beige. I love this foundation. It gives you the most amazing coverage. This is like super full coverage. And I love that. Without the feeling of like cakiness. It just feels really nice on your skin. Anyways, you just feel amazing when you wear this foundation. It's just amazing and it's very matte I have no problems with it I don't even have to like retouch it or anything it's just amazing I put it on in the morning and I can take it off at night and it looks the same what I use to set all of my foundations is the Rimmel State Matte Powder which you can see that I use a lot I just love this because this is a translucent powder and it definitely keeps you mad. No matter what you're wearing, this will keep you mad. I recommend this to every single person that asks me about my makeup. 100%. Like, this is the bomb and it's only $6 or something like that. And then, one new product that I have been loving. I mean, I've had this in the regular formula. And now, since they reformulated with some scent, um, I just had to buy it. So I bought the Cucumber Fix Plus Spray. And I love it. It's very refreshing. Same as the regular Fix Plus. Just the same, just with a little scent. 
Um, yes, I love it. I mean, that's what I spray on my face every single day when I'm done. So I'm going to talk about two palettes. The first one is my Tartelette palette. I didn't know if I was going to love this palette because I have so many neutral palettes, but I find myself using it a lot. A lot. And I mean, I love this color right here. It's called Super Mom. And I call, I, I call, and I love Force of Nature, which is this color right here, really pretty. And then I love the black. I use it pretty much every day. And yeah, I have been loving this palette. And my Shade and Light palette by Kat Von D is amazing. Love it, love it. Hidden Pan and those three. But yeah, I love it. It's the perfect contour palette. I'll probably rebuy this. It's amazing. Amazing. And guys, I want to show you two things not makeup related. And this is my shades right here, which I have been loving. Mm -hmm. And if I tell you how much I paid for this, you're probably going to laugh. But I am going to tell you because I love to make you guys laugh. You know what I'm saying? And I say, you know what I'm saying a lot. This was five dollars you guys five dollars five dollars and i will list the website that i got it from on the description bar because they have so many different shapes and i jumped on this dang wagon a little late but i got a selfie stick i got this on my trip um to florida and it was the best thing i could have gotten like, this is definitely a lifesaver for, like, trips and when you want to take pictures. Like, it was just me and my boyfriend, so whenever we would take pictures, like, they wouldn't come out nice. But with a selfie stick, it was amazing. Yeah, I feel kind of lame when I use it, though, but it is what it is, a selfie stick. I think that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoy. And if you have any... Uh, recommendations, any products that you cannot live without, please list them down below. I love to try new products. I just want to know what you guys like. And yeah, if you have any suggestions, questions, anything like that, leave them down below. I love you guys and I'll talk to you guys soon.